uh, the first phase was uh, the energy that was supplied from the higher dimensions and from the brotherhood of the galaxy uh, the ships that are surrounding the earth in different places were sending energy to the earth to to uh, once again create new chakras in the body that corresponded with higher dimensions and to uh, make the two halves of the brain work as one again so that people would once again have the ability to communicate te telepathically and uh, relate to the higher dimensions, have more information on the inner. And that was one of the first phases. And the second phase was raising the consciousness and through nature, the sounds of all nature changed their frequencies so that the frequency of earth became higher and higher. And eventually, uh, the third phase is the collapsing of the political and monetary and religious systems and the control, uh, uh, controlling forces on earth which uh, intend to uh, control the people and give them less individuality which the Creator gave individuals creativity and individualism as long as they existed and uh, the freedom to choose without guilt or feeling bad about having experiences that are part of being a human. And I think the third phase is th the collapsing of the system and a lot of destruction because souls can't accept the transformation and so therefore they have to perish and return with a different consciousness. Yes, we're in the transition phase between the third and the fourth. And the fourth will be uh, the whole societies will change. There'll be no more monetary system or controlling factors on earth. It'll be individuals will choose for themselves and have a higher awareness and be in contact more in harmony with each other in nature, I think. I can't be sure. It's happening at this moment, but uh, it depends on each individual, how much effort they put into the transformation process and how much meditation and blessings they send to the earth and to the peoples here. No, I think the wars and catastrophes are a thing of the past. The whole idea behind the transformation was to preserve and to protect the earth so that it wasn't destroyed because that was a promise from God after the flood of Noah that the earth would no longer be destroyed. Part of the transformation. It's part of the process. The earth has to be cleared and cleaned of all the negative forces that control and the brotherhood of planets have made a deal with the people who control the money and everything that they are surrendering and giving up and if they don't comply, they will be annihilated. Exactly. We'll be living in a different vibration and the earth will, will serve a positive uh, purpose instead of a negative. Instead of negative experiences, people will manifest a body instead of coming through the birth process and the male and female will be incorporated in each individual and the earth will um, live in harmony and with each person serving a purpose and their talents and everything will be used to help individuals in their process of a higher awareness and, and not for monetary benefit. Yes, of course the earth will be similar to our societies on Venus. Uh, it will be more harmonic and 
all the effort that mankind does will be toward the benefit of each other rather than for monetary or for riches. No, because of the opening of the door at CERN uh, to the other uh, dimensions, the transformation process is becoming faster and much easier than they, they ever uh, thought, thought it would. Well, like every place that has the energy colliders, they're uh, breaking atoms open and taking the particles out. And they're doing this into a smaller and smaller particles and the infinite structures of the earth and the physical. And what they learned was eventually they break open the structures between the physical and the higher dimensions. And they... And they did this on purpose to open a doorway so the energy from the higher dimensions could flow faster to the earth. Yeah, in my book there is much details about the transformation because there are certain things that you'll experience and everybody will experience as part of the transformation like high-pitched sounds in the ear, uh, short but very painful places all over the body and these are the chakras uh, developing and and your brain half and the telepathy returning to you and you'll find experiences that happen to you where you'll think of somebody or something and they will contact you because they receive the information without understanding it without knowing it it's like a thought for them <laughs> You have to let go of the old concepts of society and the fears that go with it and realize that you are in control of your own destiny and you can make your choices for certain experiences without feeling guilty because there's no good or bad as far as soul goes. Every experience is a valuable experience for the soul. And you have to... Uh, Make sure that you do the mantras, you know, on a regular basis in your life. And it's important to realize that negative energy can be collected and carried by each individual in their aura. And you can do the mantras, uh, a kala, for emotional balance and cleaning of the atmosphere so that you don't carry these negative energies with you because they block the channel for the pure energy to come in. And you want to keep it clean and keep your thoughts free of negative thoughts and ideas that come from the news or from broadcasts showing the terrible things that are happening all over the earth. We can't change anything, but we can send blessings to those who are suffering. And we can do our meditations and keep a positive attitude and know without a doubt that everything is going to be wonderful and any kind of prophecies that are circulated are by the negative forces trying to uh, sway you from concentrating on the positive and using your energy and your thoughts uh, to support the transformation. And you do this by continually loving and appreciating every living thing and realizing that it serves a purpose to nourish and support your life here. And that was the Creator's intention. We have fought for years for the transformation to protect and, and keep the earth whole. And of course, we... We don't pay attention to all these prophecies that are created by the negative forces. And if people focus on them, they're just giving energy and support to the possibility. And it's better that you not do this if you love the earth and you really want it to exist and continue. And that's why we have the transformation, because we fought for this for a long time. It will serve as a, 
a purpose for higher souls to experience everything and you not have to go through the cycle of reincarnation but you can experience everything in one life because you'll have the ability to leave the body at will the soul and enter into another form of existence and experience everything in one life. Yes, there will be a new planet that serves the same purpose that Earth serves at the moment for negative experiences. Yes, of course. And that depends on the people on Earth. The transformation process uh, is developing. It's all dependent on the people's participation and how enthusiastic they are because their energy helps support this. It's, it's something that every person is going through. It's not uh, that you choose to go through. It's just the fact that it is happening and either you accept it or, or, you, or you won't survive. Only, well, like I said, a lot of people will perish and have to be reborn with a new consciousness to accept the transformation because they're too immersed in the political, religious, or monetary systems, our technology to let go. Well, everybody asks that, but we don't know. We, we think the fourth phase, the last phase, will begin at least in three years or so. Not yet. <laughs> I think it comes at the end of the, the third phase.